Hello, happy Monday, or whatever day you are watching this video on. It is time for another ship with me video, and this weekend was bad. <laughs> Actually, two of the days were bad. Friday and Saturday were just really slow sales, um, but Sunday was great, and What's not captured here is that I actually had great sales on Thursday. So, you know, not always lost, but this was the weekend to basically end out March and start April. So it goes over Friday, March 31st, then Saturday, April 1st, and Sunday, April 2nd. So maybe my worst sales weekend in quite some time. In fact, uh, just to spoiler alert, my total sales for the weekend were under a thousand dollars, which is not great but march actually ended up being a pretty good month all things considered especially since i listed i think less than 100 items in the entire month which is the least amount i've ever listed in a very long time um i think even when i gave birth to billy lou i listed more that month so since you know tomas left and i am going back to being a solopreneur i am readjusting and i'm excited to get kind of back on track and course correct in April. All right, so let's get going. Before I even begin, some of y'all watch these videos every week. Thank you so, so much. Uh, if you wouldn't mind just taking a second to give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, uh, that means the world to me, and uh, it means the world to Matt too, who edits these videos. Shout out to Matt. All right, let's start with Friday. Friday, I had a total sales number of $129, which resulted in a gross profit of $7.34. Gross profit refers to how much I made after all my cost of sales. So that includes my cost of goods, includes my shipping costs and my platform fees. Net profit, on the other hand, would include all of my expenses. So it would include this office space, etc. So. One big reason why my sales weren't great this weekend is because I had virtually no sales on eBay or Mercari. And I think that's because, well, I don't have a lot of sales on Mercari, so that's not surprising, but eBay really is sensitive to inconsistencies in listing. Their algorithm really takes that into account, whereas Poshmark's doesn't. So if you're gonna be inconsistent, you're gonna feel it more on eBay. eBay requires you to show up. Uh, where Poshmark, you know, it does definitely help to list, but um, it's not quite as sensitive of a platform. So let's start out Friday with a bundle sale. I had a bundle sale of two tops. First, this Lululemon Wild Tank and I got this at the bins for $1.04. I had it listed for 30. I sold this total bundle for $32. So the sold price of the lemon tank was $16.55, which gave me a gross profit of $11.19. And it took 26 days to sell, so not bad. Uh, I always pick up everything Lululemon at the bins. So um, picked this up, even though it's a tank top and sold pretty quickly, which is great. The other top was this Anthropology Maeve Petunia top. Uh, I also picked this up at the bins for $1.27, had it listed for $28. So within this bundle, it sold for $15.45, which gave me a gross profit of $10.08. And it sold after only 14 days. So actually was one of the few items I listed in uh, March. Um, so that's good. Happy about that sale. Let's get it packaged up. All of my sales on Friday were from Poshmark. The only time I had sale, I had one sale on eBay and it was on Sunday. So that's a little bonkers to me. I also had one sale on Mercari. Okay. Next. Let me get a bend please in. Also, if you're new, um, something that makes a huge difference in my business is setting up USPS pickups. I don't go to the post office anymore unless like I have a really late shipment or something. I just schedule a pickup for every Monday through Friday and they just come and pick up my packages, which makes a world of difference, especially on Mondays when I have tons of packages. 
Um, and so you can do that. They're free on USPS.com. It's pretty easy, especially if you're operating out of your house or an office space. Um, sometimes apartment complexes can be weird and some people have issues with their post office. Um, but generally, you can set pickups. So definitely make sure to go to USPS.com and schedule your pickup. Also, while you're there, you can order packaging supplies for free. Okay, so my next sale was this Toad & Co. Imogene Wrap Dress. I got this at the bins for 84 cents. Toad & Co. is a brand that I have been picking up more and more lately. It's a good bread and butter brand that sells pretty consistently. Um, I had this listed for 35 and it sold for 24 which gave me a gross profit of $16.34. It did take me 172 days to sell, but that's not too bad. I mean, depends on who you ask, I guess. For me, that's not too bad. And it sold for a good price, so I'm happy with this sale. Um, and I'm going to continue to pick up Toad & Co. Next was a new tag frame tee. This is something I got in liquidation. I had it listed for 40 bucks and then someone sent me an offer for 24 and I accepted that, which gave me a gross profit of $11.18 and it sold after 113 days. So that's not too bad. Frame is definitely a brand I continue to pick up, especially at the bins. Um, certain pieces can sell for a lot of money, but pieces like this, this t-shirt, I mean, this t-shirt probably retailed for over a hundred bucks and then it sold for 24, which isn't horrible, but as new with tags, you just don't want to pay too much generally for frame unless it's a certain piece. So I'll always check comps when it comes to frame. Uh, some, some pieces can just do really well. It's one of those brands, but I was really, really happy. This sale, I accepted that offer quickly, and it's a cute t-shirt, so happy to get it out the door. All right, and then I sold this Urban Outfitters Paloma button-down cropped tank. Uh, this is a, I think I picked this up to take to Crossroads, maybe not. Um, I've been picking up Urban Outfitters a lot recently, and it's been performing pretty well. I picked this up at the bins for 97 cents and I had it listed for 20. It's a really cute cropped button with these pearl iridescent buttons. Um, I send out 30% off offers anytime someone likes something in my closet. I don't do that manually, that would take forever. I do that using Posher VA and um, it makes a huge difference in my business. If you don't use an automation software like that, I would highly recommend it. I recommend Posher VA. It's, again, sends 30% off offers for me. It shares my closet three times a day for me. And then it also sends out these bulk offers that I send every Sunday, which I'll talk about you know, when we get there. But um, it's free for the first two weeks, so you might as well just try it out. And then it's only 25 bucks after that. And if you use my code MOGIBETH, you'll get 28% off your first purchase. So I think it's definitely worth the money, but you know, you get two weeks to try it out for yourself and see if it's worth the money for your business. If you're making, you know, an extra $12.50 plus in gross profit from Posture VA within that two week period, then you basically hit your break even. And so I would say it is worth it. And not to mention the time you get back. I mean, You've got to know that if you are selling on Poshmark and you're not using one of these things, you're competing against other sellers who are. So uh, just something to keep in consideration. If you're like really, really a hobby seller and you don't make that many sales, maybe don't do it. But otherwise, I would recommend it. Okay. And then my last sale on... Friday was a item that I purchased from Goodwill. I got this, I must have gotten this half off. Yeah, it was probably $24.99 at Goodwill. I think this was in a Thrift Me video. I don't know. I've done so many Thrift Me videos, it's hard <laughs> for me to remember what's in, been in them. But uh, I got this, I must have got this half off for $12.49. It's a pair of new tag 
Prana Kayla jeans and um, these actually performed pretty well. So I listed these for 50 and they sold two apostrophe a offer for 35, which gave me a gross profit of 1349 and they sold after 171 days. Prana is definitely a brand I like picking up at the bins. I try to be more selective with it when, uh, you know, paying up for it essentially at a regular Goodwill. But uh, sometimes it does pay off. In this case, pretty good gross profit there. So happy, happy, happy with that sale. I mean, the average day still sold of Friday is pretty good. Uh, of the sales on Friday. There weren't any sales that uh, took a thousand days plus, like sometimes the case. But I think I'll have a couple of those on Sunday, which you'll see. Okay. Let's move on to Saturday. So Saturday wasn't much better, unfortunately. I had a total sales of $154 with a gross profit of $107.11. So let's tackle Saturday. I guess the the silver lining is that it's not going to take me very long to do shipping today. I do have quite a few sales on Sunday though, so it's not like it's going to be speedy super fast. had four sales on Poshmark on Saturday. So the first was a pair of Adriana Goldschmied pants. As I, I mentioned on here all the time, in fact, I kind of feel like a broken record, but uh, I love picking up premium men's denim like Adriana Goldschmidt. So when I found these at the bins, I picked them up. I paid 97 cents for these pants and uh, listed them for 35. I'll list them higher. I think this was like an older style or something. I can't remember. Um, but someone sent me an offer for 20 and I accepted it. And that gave me a gross profit of $13.01, and they sold after 157 days. So pretty good, happy again with the sale. I, would, I will continue to pick up Adriana Goldschmidt at the bins, especially men's pieces. And another men's, actually three out of four of these sales were men's. So that's motivation to pick up and sell men's items. There you go. I actually did recently a men's bolo brand video. So I'll link that up on the screen in case you want to watch that. Uh, my next sale was another men's bread and butter brand. If you want me to do a bread and butter men's video, let me know. I probably won't do it anytime soon, but I can let that percolate in the back of my brain for the future. This bread and butter brand was Untuck It, and I like picking up this brand. I may need to refold this. It's a little bit, just a little, little fixing up. Okay, this was an Untuck It wrinkle free shirt. I picked it up at the bins for $1.08. I love picking up Untuck It. It just is consistently sells. It doesn't sell for a ton of money, as you'll see. Uh, I had it listed for 45 and then someone sent me an offer for 25 which I accepted. And that gave me a gross profit of $16.90, and it sold after only 100 days. So, not bad. Right, okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out how to... <laughs> fold this. I should just get out. I have a folding mat that I use when I'm inventorying pieces. I, I love that folding mat. I'll link it in the description. I need to update my Amazon links in the description, so maybe I'll put that in my to-do list. Um, but I'll make sure that's down there, and it's a cheap, great little upgrade for your reselling business. Okay, that looks good. Anyway, um, what was I saying? I always pick up Untuck It in when I come across it in the bins. It's just, I've picked up pants, I've picked up shirts, it's just a really consistent seller for me. So I was very happy with this sale. And 25 bucks for this shirt is pretty good. Maybe I was aiming for more 30, but you know, on days like Saturday <laughs> or like Friday, uh, I will take the $25 sale, especially when I've only spent a dollar. 
So uh, it's definitely happy with this sale. wrapped up and a quick a comment I always get in every ship with me video is where do I get this packaging paper and I get it at a place called packaging price which I don't recommend because you have to spend like a lot of money in order to get free shipping and otherwise shipping is very expensive I usually do like one bulk order for the year uh, of everything that I need just to meet that shipping requirement but I have found one on Amazon that's the same size because this is a really good size uh, tissue paper and I really like it and I think I'll just go ahead and order one of those tissue papers uh, just to see if I like the quality um, if it's comparable and so that I can make sure I'm recommending it to y'all I actually like it but I'll link it down below. It's always gonna be also in my Amazon shop. So if you go to uh, Google and you just search Mohi Beth Amazon, you'll see my little page and then you're gonna click on reseller tools or reseller favorites or something like that. And you'll see all of the things I recommend when it comes to reselling. That's just a quick, quicker way often to get to that list rather than having to go through a YouTube description link. I always just prefer Google. But anyway, um, yeah, just want to answer that question so that y'all know that where this tissue paper comes from. Um, okay, so my third sale on Saturday was this Anthropology Cartonnier Pinafore jumpsuit. Actually, I had just listed this, so that's always great immediate validation that your work is paying off. One of the few things I listed in March. Um, this was a Vince pickup. I got it for a dollar and eleven cents. I listed it for sixty-eight. This is an older anthropology piece, and yet um, it's still selling for good money. So there are definitely those gems out there. When I came across this at the bins, I was very excited about it. Listed for sixty-eight, and it sold thirty percent off from a Posture VA offer for 47, which gave me a gross profit of 34.47, which is great, and it sold after only three days. So I was very, very happy about that. Actually, right when this sold, I received an offer on eBay for this jumpsuit, which I obviously didn't accept, so I just sold it on Poshmark, but there's definitely demand for this item. So if you come across it, pick it up. I would say jumpsuits in general, like especially substantial ones like that from Anthropology, are good things to check comps on if you come across them. But older Anthropology pieces, if you're gonna pay up for them, you're gonna wanna check comps. And I almost always do. I, a few years ago, a couple years ago, three years ago, I'm not sure, did a video on Anthropology brands for resellers, which I'll link up on the screen in case you're interested. I think it's still very much relevant today. Okay, last sale on Saturday was this new tag Adriana Goldschmidt again, another men's Adriana Goldschmidt sale. This was from Liquidation, however. Um, I actually have, I think, a couple more of these, so if you want one of these, uh, go for it in my closet. Adriana Goldschmidt Cedric Crew Sweater. Uh, this, I think, is either 100% cashmere or a cashmere blend and it retails, here look, I can see $198. So I had it listed for 90 and it sold for 62, 30% off from my Posture VA. Thank you, Posture VA. Which gave me a gross profit of $42.73. So another really good sale. And um, it took 299 days to sell. I mean, I've sold others because I had multiples of this, uh, you know, in the past, but this one in particular took about 300 days. So, and the next two I have will take longer but very, very happy with the sale. And it's really cute sweater, um, really high quality, so happy that it sold. My first sale going into Sunday was also men's items. So I've been really enjoying selling men's items, but let's talk about what my overall sales were. One sec, I'm gonna grab my items. 
Okay, so my total sales for Sunday were $624.99, and I had a gross profit of $303.11. That gross profit is not great. I mean, the profit margin there is less than 50%, so uh, I wanna say my cost of goods were elevated for the items that I sold on Sunday, but we'll see. Um, sales overall were good though, so I have a bunch of stuff to package up. Let's get to it. Actually, I know I said my first sale was a men's item, but that was on Poshmark. Let's start with my one eBay sale <laughs> and my one Ricari sale. Let me grab my labels here. All right, so my first eBay, or actually, sorry, my only eBay sale was this Torrid dress. Torrid is a bread and butter brand I love picking up. And it, I got it for a dollar and 11 cents at the bins. And I had it listed for 38. And then it sold for $21 plus $7.99 shipping, which gave me a gross profit of $17.77. I probably could have got more for this. I mean, 38 versus 21. That's pretty significant, but um, I'm happy with the sale. And uh, I was happy to make a sale on eBay. I heard someone has once told me that when sales are slow on eBay, just accept mobile offers and that should help. I don't know if that's the case, but at this point, I'm willing to try anything. <laughs> But $21, I wouldn't consider that a low ball offer. I mean, it's a little less than what I would like. Like, I think I would have really liked to make at least 25. I don't know. But, uh, that's okay. It's not too bad. Um, oh wait, I can't put it in here. I started packaging it in a priority mail package, but, shipping first class. So I'll put it in here. All right. That is my eBay sale. And did I say it sold after 28 days? So I must have listed it in March, which is good. And um, it uh, sold within the month. So very happy about that. And then my one Mercari sale was this J. Crew Perfect shirt. I've actually sold this before, like in the very beginning of my reselling career. Uh, so when I saw it at the bins, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. Thought, hey, listing this is gonna be easy. I've already listed it once before. Uh, I picked it up for a dollar and I had it listed for 20. Received an offer on Mercari for 17 which I accepted and that gave me, after shipping, a gross profit of $9.07 and sold after 144 days. So, not too bad. Um, I mean, this is an older J. Crew button down shirt. I wouldn't buy this at a regular Goodwill, but at the bins, depending on your business model, a $17 sale might be worth it. Okay. Now that my new goal is to list five items per day, Monday through Sunday. So I'm starting to really readjust my sourcing mindset to being more particular with what I pick up just because I have a limited capacity of how much I can process. So, because it all goes through me now. Um, so, I don't know if I picked that up again. Uh, the, there is definitely something to be said. Like the Torrid piece uh, had a higher gross profit and it sold quicker. I would definitely pick that up again. But the J. Crew shirt, probably pass on. Okay, so let's pop on over to Poshmark sales for the weekend. Here we go. Yep, we're starting off with a good sale. This, 
Uh, on Sunday, like I said, I send out 40% off offers on everything in my closet. So, but I had made a few sales, uh, or a couple sales on Poshmark before I had done that. So here's one of them. It was a new tag Norse Projects men's shorts. And this is a good men's bolo brand, but I don't know if I was talking to, I'll try to um, show y'all what the label looks like. I'll go slow on, okay. Yeah, let me just show you, pop it up here. Can you see it? Norse Projects. It's one of those men's bolo brands that, uh, depending on the piece, isn't gonna sell super fast. I mean, for me anyway, it didn't sell super fast. But if you wait long enough and you have patience, it'll sell for good money. So that was the case on this one. I had spent $25 on it um, and I listed it for $125. And then, you know, eventually it sold for 30% off for 87. And that gave me a gross profit of $42.58. So that's great. Uh, however, it did take 487 days to sell. So for me, that's great. That's fine. I'm happy to wait. I have plenty of storage space. Uh, but if you have a limited storage, it's definitely a factor that you've got to consider in your sourcing strategy. Okay, so then my 40% off sale went into effect and started making some sales from that. So I think I said I had two sales. I had one sale before then. So uh, new without tags, Sanctuary Nikolai metallic striped sweater. I got this through liquidation. I had it listed for 30 and it sold for 18, 40% off, which gave me a gross profit of $8.76 and took 441 days to sell. So, you know, I'm willing to wait 487 days for a $42 profit. 441 days for an $8.76 profit, mm, not ideal, but that's what you get with liquidation. You just sometimes get items that aren't gonna move super fast, but this is a good plus size piece. It's cute, and so I'm happy that it did sell. And, um, found a new home. It's definitely still worth listing, especially since I had it. I had, you know, had to do something with it. And that's just something that comes along with liquidation. Um, if you want my thoughts on liquidation, I did a video on liquidation. So I'll link that one up on the screen as well. This guy can go in a priority mail. These, sometimes these envelopes, the adhesive, oh my goodness, the adhesive it doesn't work. And you gotta use tape, which is a little bit of a pain, but. Okay. <laughs> but it's better than, you know, opening up mid delivery. And you get it for free, so a little piece of tape isn't gonna kill you. Um, but just make sure if you do order free USPS supplies, you don't always trust the adhesive because it doesn't always work. Okay, next was a Madewell t-shirt that I got at the bins. I think I picked this up thinking, oh, maybe I'll keep this. Then I didn't. And uh, it did take a little while to sell. So maybe I should have kept it. It's really, really cute. Maybe I should have, but really, I don't need more t-shirts. Especially fitted t-shirts. I'm really in like an oversized t-shirt phase. Um, but this is really cute. It's a Madewell Citron Graphic Tee, and it was a size medium. Had a dollar and four cents into it because I got it at the bins. Had it listed for $20, and it sold 40% off for $12, which gave me a gross profit of $5.99, and took 305 days to sell. So, it's cute. I hope whoever gets it loves it. And maybe I should have kept it, <laughs> but no. No, I'm happy it sold. Okay, let's try to do this. Yeah. Okay. Oh my 
my goodness. My next sale is going to the wonderful, the fabulous, the only, Becky Park. Thank you, Becky Park, for buying from me. We love a reseller who supports other resellers. Thank you. I really appreciate it. If you don't already, which I'm sure you already do, watch her channel on YouTube. Definitely check it out. I'll link it up on the screen. And uh, she's just a wonderful reseller. Highly recommend her, especially if you're a part-time seller because um, I know a lot of y'all probably are part-time sellers. And she is someone who really uh, models how to do that very well. And she's always putting out really good information. So uh, thank you, Becky Park. Got to make sure I <laughs> make this one extra extra crisp, extra special. Okay, so this was a liquidation purchase, I believe. Um, actually, was this a retail arbitrage purchase? I'm not sure. Um, I spent $12 on it, so that makes me think it's not liquidation, because uh, typically liquidation, liquidation cost goods isn't like a even $12. So, Wherever I got this, it's new without tags. It's a maple turtleneck sweatshirt, really cute. Uh, cost of goods was $12, had it listed for $38. Um, it sold in my 40% off sale to Becky Park for, <laughs> I'm just okay with me putting that out there, uh, for $3.58, oh no, sorry, for $22, which gave me a gross profit of $3.58. Um, and it took 308 days to sell. We're gonna put extra stickers. Maybe we'll write a little note. Thank you, Becky. We spoke at Poshfest together. So we were on a panel about YouTube. Uh, Poshfest, when it was virtual. So it was like uh, two or three years ago. And um, that was fun. It was great to do it with her because you know, speaking of those is, of course, nerve-wracking, public speaking. Uh, and I think we actually did it. I wish they, I don't know if they do publish those on YouTube. Probably not, since they charge money for tickets. But uh, I wish they did, because I thought it was actually a pretty good uh, panel. Okay, let's move on. Um, next, Another liquidation sale. This was from my free people palette that I got about a year and a half ago. Or more. I guess it was a summer, summer of, uh, what, 2021. So I guess that's more than a year and a half ago. Uh, this is really cute. And I have more of these, so if y'all want one, uh, go to my closet. But uh, it's a Malibu graphic print romper, uh, and I have it listed, it is new at tags, I have it listed for 40 and with 40% off, that came out to $24, so that's a really good deal. My cost of goods was $11.34, so, um, like I said, some of these sales had elevated cost of goods, but uh, that gave me a gross profit of $5.84, but I've had it for 528 days, so I'm happy this cute old romper is finding a new home. And what is this, a size small? I'm going to Florida where it belongs. It literally is April, what, 3rd, and it snowed here this morning in Portland, so <laughs> we're not quite ready for uh, a Malibu romper here yet. Uh, okay, so next is another liquidation sale. I had this one. This is my oldest sale of the weekend. Uh, it's so cute, you know, definitely didn't deserve to sit in my uh, inventory for this long, but alas, it has found a new home, thankfully. And it is this really cute, new without tags, LJ swimsuit. This is a good swim bolo brand, if you don't know about it. This is the Aubrey One Piece. 
uh, I had it listed, I think I relisted it. I think I originally had it listed for 100 and I relisted it for 80 and then it sold 40% off for 48, which gave me a gross profit of $26.81. And it took 991 days to sell. What a travesty. Uh, it's probably my fault, <laughs> but <laughs> I didn't relist it enough. I did relist it at least once, so there's that. Uh, but happy, happy it's going out. And of course, I keep saying this, but swimsuits are selling well right now. So if you've got some swimsuits in your death pile, list them ASAP. And then, you know, potentially go through the swimwear section in Goodwill. And if you get across some of the bins, pick it up, try it out. Um, even if it's not a category you're used to selling because it's lightweight and you might as well try it out. Okay. Next is an NBD, which is an in-house Revolve brand. Let me find it. So I got it. This is it, right? Yeah. Um, I got these sample, like basically from a sample sale type thing. Uh, these are all samples a long time ago. Don't have access to that anymore, so, you know, don't ask. <laughs> if I did, maybe I would get it. Um, but, uh, a while ago, I had got these revolve samples, which was just a really interesting thing to list because, uh, I don't know, for a variety of reasons. But um, this I had listed for 35 and it sold for 40% off for 21 which gave me a gross profit of $5.73. Definitely not breaking any records there. Uh, sold after 600 days, so took a bit of time. Actually, I'll just go ahead and put it in here. I need to grab, I need to grab more of these from downstairs. Oh, yeah, I'm out. But run it out. Note to self. You keep my inventory and all my extra supplies in a separate space. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, that was a good sale. In house revolver and NDD if you come across it. Check comp. Some pieces sell for a ton of money, some pieces. Not so much. Uh, this was a pretty good sale. Um, okay, next was a pair of Lucky Brand Tegan pants. I remember picking these up and being like, should I pick these up? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and see how they do. They did pretty well. Um, they're floral drawstring linen blend pants, size extra, extra large. All those things are going, you know, good things that are going for it. If I find something that has linen in it, I'm more likely to want to pick it up. If I find something that's a larger size, more likely to pick it up. So I thought, hey, let's try these out. Lucky brand, um, definitely one I'm more selective with. But anyway, picked these up for 91 cents. Had them listed for 40 and they sold for 24. Uh, which gave me a gross profit of $16.27 and they sold after 192 days. So that's really not bad. I'm, I would pick these up again. All right, get this in a mailer. And another question I get is, what are these mailers that I'm using? They're from Eco and Clothes. I ordered, uh, I used to, I'm on the fence on whether or not to recommend these. They're not cheap. Uh, they're pretty expensive as far as ma mailers go, but they are you made from 100% recycled materials. They're reusable. They've got two strips. And when I was, um, a couple of years ago, I was just really hit with the fact that my business was producing a lot of waste. So I did some research trying to figure out what the best option was, the eco-friendly option was. And I, I thought that these were paper and recyclable, but they're not. They're Tyvek, which is plastic. You can't recycle them. So I um, decided to go with these. I kind of want to do another dive and see like what paper mailers exist now, because at the time there weren't any really good ones. So I don't know if I'll order these again. And I don't know. They are very convenient though. I do like using these. Um, so anyway, getting that out. Let's move on to the next sale. Next, I, I think this was something that I uh, accidentally picked up. 
at the bins. Like I had put it in my cart and forgot to throw it back. Um, Cause I knew it just wasn't gonna sell for a lot of money. It's a good brand. It's COS, C-O-S, which is a kind of a higher end H&M. It's owned by H&M. Retails for, you know, pretty good money. Um, and there's definitely a following for this brand. But, so it can sell pretty well. I will warn you, they do go after stock photos with this brand, you know, pretty regularly. So I tend not to use too many of those. I don't know, I probably used on this one though, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but anyway, this is a Koss short sleeve t-shirt. As far as a black t-shirt goes, you know, that can be hard to sell uh, on a reseller marketplace. So that's why I was gonna throw it back, but I'm glad it sold and it sold within a relatively good amount of time. So I picked it up for 85 cents, had it listed for 18 and it sold for 10, 40% off, which gave me a gross profit of $4.18 and it sold after 118 days. I would not pick it up again, but it ended up in my cart and I, was, I listed it and you know what? Made, made my money back in a little change, so not mad about it. Hopefully, um, the person who buys it loves it. All right. Oops. Next is, ooh, In Philanthropy. Do you guys know this brand? Uh, it retails for a ton of money. I got this in a liquidation palette, and this was a very expensive liquidation palette, I believe. Is that right? Wow. Yeah. It was a very expensive liquidation palette. <laughs> I'm like, how is that? Uh, man. Like, my cost of goods on every item in that palette was $19.77, so that's expensive. Um, but... Anyways, I had these listed for 90. I have a bunch of these. This is my only size and extra small. And I've had it for quite a while, uh, 675 days. So I had it listed for 90, sent out my 40% off offers. Someone countered with 40. And I've had these, again, for so long that I quickly accepted. I was very happy. These are cute. And philanthropy. It's a brand that can actually do really well. It, again, retails for a lot of money, but not all pieces. Like I do come across it at the regular Goodwill from time to time. And I, if I do consider picking it up, I always check comps. I would definitely pick it up at the bins if I came across it. In fact, I found a really cute skirt by this brand at the bins one time. Um, anyway, but uh, I'd be more particular with it at uh, if I was gonna pay up or pay like any more than like a dollar for it, definitely check comps. Anyway, sold it for 40, made a gross profit of $9.25. And like I said, 675 days. So very happy that it sold. So when you have sales on items that have just been sitting for a very long time, those are almost <laughs> feel as like relieving and rewarding as you know, the ones that sell very quickly. Okay, good. Next was another Ben's find. It was a pair of offline airy joggers. I think I picked these up for Mogi Box uh, a little while ago and decided to list them. Not sure, but they are these neon joggers. Picked it up for $1.07. They are cute. Listed them for $25. And they sold for 40% off for $15. And they gave me a gross profit of $8.91. And they sold after 147 days. Um, some pieces by Aerie, especially the offline line with an Aerie, can sell really well. Um, and surprisingly well. Like, I didn't know that it did that well. Um, I wouldn't necessarily consider this within that category. It sold pretty well, but I've had pieces that sell super quickly, have tons of interest. Um, so I haven't done enough research to know 
to give advice on what those pieces are. But if I find like a substantial or cute piece, like an oversized sweatshirt, for example, that's like drop shoulder or cute, I'm more likely to want to pick it up, especially if it's in a larger size. Do you guys hear that car? Car horn going off. Part of being in an office in a city like Portland is fun little car alarms in the background. Okay, next is a pair of Madewell pants. Um, I Got these at the bins. They are called the Huston full-on cropped pants. Got them for 96 cents. And I had them listed for $35 and they sold 40% off for 21. This was a really successful 40% off sale, which I am very happy about because as y'all know, I needed I needed Sunday to pull some of the weight from uh, Friday and Saturday. performance but uh, anyway gross profit on this was $13.82 and they sold after only 74 days so good good sale let's see can this fit in there no. had a lot of Madewell sales this weekend happy about that I like selling Madewell. Uh, next, another Madewell sale. And it was a new tag multicolored knit top. I got this in liquidation for $5.96. Had a listed for 30. It sold for 40% off for 18, which is great for a new tag top. This is really cute too. And uh, had a gross profit of six dollars and forty-two cents. It took three hundred and eighty-four days to sell. So um, took a little over a year, but hopefully whoever purchased it loves it because it's a good deal, I think, and it's cute. Uh, what side? Let's get this packaged up. I'm gonna put this in my last priority mail envelope that I have up here. Another Madewell sale on my next one. This one I lost money on. <laughs> so um, I just overpaid for it. It's this new tag Madewell striped Henley dress uh, in a size medium. I paid fifteen dollars for it, which you think maybe okay, new tag dress Madewell. $15, okay, maybe I can support that. But after checking comps, it was a very saturated style. Um, so I'm happy that it did sell. I had us it for 35, sent out 40% off offers. Someone countered with 18, which I went ahead and accepted. So that gave me a gross profit of negative $2.62. And it took 319 days for me to lose that $2.64. <laughs> Sometimes that's just how it goes. If you overpay for something without checking comps, that's why I'm a huge proponent of check comps, check comps, especially if you're gonna pay up like $15 for something. Um, you know, always check comps on those pieces, which I did not do here. Which sometimes you're just in situations and positions where you can't do that and you, this stuff like this happens and you just take the loss, make back some of the money you spent and move on happens to everyone. So, uh, did I say how long it took to sell? Yeah, 319 days. All right. Uh, those are all my Madewell sales for the weekend. My next sale was not Madewell. 
It was a liquidation sale. I think this is an in-house Nordstrom brand. It's 1901. And these were a pair of new without tags in 1901 white uh, ankle pants. Got these through liquidation, had them listed for 30 and someone accepted my 30% offer to like her. Generated, of course, by Pasha VA, like all of these, for 21, which gave me a gross profit of $8.34. Because of course, if someone likes something on Sunday, I'm sending them a 30% off offer. And so I generate some sales that way. In fact, I had at least one really good sale that way. So yeah, sold for 21, uh, gross profit of $8.34, took 558 days to sell. 1901 is a not necessarily a brand to be on the lookout for. Um, like I said, it's in-house Nordstrom brand, but it does sell. Certain pieces will definitely sell. And $21 sale is not bad, so happy about that. Y'all, I'm just now realizing I forgot a really big sale on this list, um, which is going to change my totals for the for the entire weekend and for Sunday. So let me update this real quick and I'm gonna have to run downstairs and grab it. Okay, so actually, I did break $1,000 this weekend. Um, okay, so actually, my new sales totals were $744.99 and I had a gross profit of $381.34 because I had one good $100 plus sale, so that's good. All right, let's get back to Sunday. Um, where were we? This Michael Kors, Michael Michael Kors linen tank. I've been playing around with picking up more and more Michael Kors, Michael Michael Kors, because it tends to sell pretty well. Uh, and so, since I came across this, it was a linen tank, size large, decided to pick it up. Uh, spent 90 cents on it at the bins. Had a list for 25. Sold for 30% off someone for 17 which gave me a gross profit of ten dollars and 68 cents sold after 62 days so only you know two months it's not bad so I will continue to play around with Michael Michael Kors I should have grabbed priority mailers while I was down there, dang it. Oh well. Next is new tag laundry by Shelly Siegel. Cocktail dress, size 14, which is a good size, 14W. Um, I got this in liquidation. So my cost of goods on this was $10.17. I had it listed for 58 and it sold. 40% off, 434. Gave me a gross profit of about 15 bucks, $50.01. And I had it for 353 days, so almost a year. Um, laundry by Shelly Siegel. If I found it at the bins for new tag, I'd pick it up, probably. Especially if it was size 14. Um, but it's definitely not a brand, you know. I would say be on the lookout for. Matt thought when we were going through a pallet one time, Matt thought it was very funny that there's a brand called Laundry. <laughs> um, okay, then another sale from that Free People pallet that I mentioned earlier. That pallet, you know, I've sold I think the majority of it by now, but it is the gift that keeps on giving. It was a very big palette. Um, my cost of goods on it was high, $11.34 per piece. But this was really cute. Uh, free people ruffle my feathers mini wrap skirt. This is perfect going into this time of year. Uh, Send my cost of goods already. I had it listed for 40 and it sold for 24. Gave me a gross profit of five dollars and eighty-four cents. I might have had multiples of these, but this was my last one. 
and it sold after 524 days. Okay, so now I had two really good sales. One I just added, like I said, because I accidentally left it out of my data here and hence forgot to pick it up, but it was this new with tags, Michael Costello Revolve Dress. Michael Costello is definitely a boa brand. I picked it up at Buy Sell Trade Store before and it sold really well. Um, so you can definitely find it around. And this was from Liquidation, however. Um, it, it's a beautiful dress. Uh, my cost of goods was $15.75. Had it listed for $200 and it sold 40% off for $120, which gave me a gross profit of $78.23 sold after 413 days so that bumped me up over a thousand dollars this weekend in sales good sale good gross profit so definitely happy about this one and then my last sale do y'all remember that video i did where my cart went missing. I think this was one of the things that went missing. And no, 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 it wasn't. Um, but, so Isabel Morant <laughs> did go missing. And this was one of the ones that actually remained in my cart, so I was happy about it. Um, really cute Isabel Morant high-waisted paper bag shorts. This was a really great day at the bins. Found some really great pieces. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link, if I still can, I have like a limited amount of links I can put up on the screen, but I'll link that uh, haul I did up on the screen where I talked about that drama. Which, that drama haunted me for the longest time. I, anyway, it's out of my psyche now, thankfully. But, um, I had this listed for $150 and it sold for $105, so 30% off. And I had a gross profit of $80.88 because I got these for $1.10, which is great. And they only took 166 days to sell. So a great sale. Uh, one of, by far, one of my best bin sales from the year so far. So uh, very happy about that. I'm actually, I just put together my best bin sales for real of 2023 thus far. I put it together before I made this sale. So, and the next time I do that kind of reel, I'll have to include this one. But if you don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you should. I'm putting out more content now with my, with the time I have. But anyway, okay, let's go over my overall sales, even though I did kind of mention that it's over a thousand dollars now. So my total sales is now a thousand and twenty-seven dollars and ninety-nine cents, and my gross profit from the weekend was five hundred and fifty-eight dollars and seventy-nine cents. So not a great weekend still, but better than I thought it was. <laughs> I barely broke a thousand dollars. You know, compared to last weekend, it's not great. Uh, that's just the reselling roller coaster. But um, you know. Sunday definitely pulled a lot of weight. If any of y'all made a purchase from me, thank you so, so much. Thank you, Becky Park. Um, I really, really do appreciate it. It makes a huge difference. And uh, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. New videos every Monday and Thursday. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay, love y'all. <laughs> okay, love y'all. Bye.